Hi, my name is Spirit Man. I come in the name of Jesus. I have something to show you. And remember, this is all about you can heal yourself. Now, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to show you. This paper here, I know you probably can't see it right now, but I'm going to explain it to you. And I'm going to take you in a place that the Father have gave all of our spiritual beings freely. And that is your imagination. Now, first of all, I want you to understand you have a spiritual being. Jesus Christ is a name that Father had placed and gave us freely. And that name represent a door. The body, the door, faith, and the Father is the head. The Holy Spirit is the feet. He was sent in the name of Jesus to show our spirit things that we not know of. Now I want you to understand this. And once we go into the imagination together, and I'm going to show you something. And I want you to get repaired for this, for you can feel it and feel good about it and feel joy. Let me show you. Now, let all, let all of us right now in the spirit go in our imagination for a moment. Let's go in our imagination. And I want you to repeat out to me as you in your imagination seeing, and this is how you true, truly worship the Father. You can't worship the Father out here. He's a spiritual being. You are a spiritual being. So in your imagination was a place that God said, you're going to worship me in your imagination. Now let's go in our imagination. And when we go in our imagination, we would take God's words with us, our spiritual being. I'm going to name a few of them. Love, healing, healed, and ease. When you in your imagination, you basically going through a door, and that door represents Christ to get to the Father. Now, see yourself in your imagination and repeat after me. Love you, Father. And the Father repeating, saying, Love you, son. Love you, daughter. Love you, Father. Love you, son. Love you, daughter. Love you, father. Love you, son. Love you, daughter. In your imagination, feel it and see it. That you're communicating with the Spirit of God. Because once you step in that door, you are in the presence of the Father. You will feel warm and you will feel certain type of heat because when you worship in him in your imagination, this is the true worshiping of God. Love you, Father. Love you, son. Love you, daughter. Come out of your imagination. When you continue to keep on practicing that, this how you communicate with the Father in your imagination. This how you worship him. This how you praise him. This how you thank him. Because everything in your imagination comes out here. You have to use your imagination and learn how to understand your imagination. And because God is a spirit being. He wants to be the God to rule over Jerusalem 
and this in, represents Jerusalem up here, that he is sitting on a throne in your imagination. The Father is the head. The Father is the body. The Father is the feet. See, the Father is Jesus. The Father is the Holy Spirit. All the Father had done, he made a word become flesh. And he stepped into the earth suit and walked among our spiritual beings that have an earth suit. When the Father came out of his earth suit and stepped out of it, he hung it up. And he's still walking with our spirit beings while our spirit beings still in the earth suit. And that is the Holy Spirit. The Father said, I will never leave you or forsake you. He never leaves you. He's still here. You understand? So the name Jesus basically is the Father's name. Ain't no name above the Father's name but his name. Understand? That's his name. And he wants us to go through his name to get to him because that name is him. And this is the way the Father set everything up for our spiritual beings good. Now, I want you to understand something. You have to do everything in your imagination. All the positive words like love, healing, heal, humble, patient, kindness, grateful, peace, mercy, faithful, respect, plentiful, wisdom, gentleness, harmony, joy, wonderful, wealthy, soundness, control, happiness, gratitude, bless, choice, compassion, acceptance, success, successful, trust, truthful, victorious, victory. Discipline, giving, receiving, health, healthy, restraint, charity, peacefulness, peacefulness, understanding, restore, rejoice, believe, and belief. Feeling, life, prosperity, prosper, confidence, winning, winner, protection, forgiveness, one, favor, favorable, strength, well-being, wellness, well, release, relief. Sleep, rest, relax, mindfulness, soundness, cleanse, calm, calmness, wholeness, courage, brave, knowledge, focus, faith, freedom, obey, obedience, and plenty. All these laws, heavenly laws, you take it in your imagination. And you see in your imagination every word that you choose out of here. See yourself created from these words. See yourself creating and then speaking these words to become whatever you want it to become out here in the natural. See, when God has spoke a word and it became flesh, it all start from a word. And now I just gave you these positive words. You take them in your imagination and you build it and they will come. When you build these words in your imagination and then when you speak it, they will do what they was created and designed to do. And whatever you speak a word, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Don't run around here, oh, I ain't got nothing, I ain't got a car, I ain't got a house, I ain't got no money, I ain't got no food. God said in the Bible, those birds out there, they're not twirling, they, 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 they get food all the time. Why are you more viable than them? So therefore, if you take what he gave you, these words will do the same when God said, let the word become flesh. If I speak a word right now out of this, what I just showed you. Peace. I created it in my imagination and I line it up. They are one accord my imagination and my mouth. And when I speak it, peace out here, watch how peace shape and becomes something. Understand? Now, 
Learn how to use your imagination. It is the greatest thing you ever seen. But what I'm telling you, everything you got in your life right now came from your imagination. If it was a, if it was a, a faithful creation or it was an unfaithful creation, my point is it still came from your imagination. So what I'm trying to show you, if you want love, you take this word, you feel good with this love, and you get in your imagination, you start visualizing in your imagination, creating your imagination that you want to love yourself and that you want to love others and you want to love God and you want to love things. See, it's okay to love stuff, but not in a deceitful way. Understand? And so now when you create it in your imagination and you approve it and you speak it, all that what you created is going to come out here and you say, wow, become pleasant to my eyes. Now let me just use a sample. Why be jealous of your sister or brother because they got a car? Cain was jealous of his brother, but he had the same opportunity to do like his brother. So do not be jealous of your brother or sister. If you want a car, find the right word, a positive word, and you utilize it in your imagination and build that car. The color, be persistent. The color, the type, the year, and build it. And it will come. That's why the Father says, seek first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And see, when you seek the first, the kingdom of God and all his heavenly laws, and these words is his heavenly laws. And when you seek his righteousness, represents the heavenly laws, the words, and these things will be added unto you. Know why? Because when you got these, you seek these words first, and now since you got the words, remember the words become stuff. A word become a thought. And yet thought you see what? Stuff. Those are the things he said be added unto you. They can't be added unto you until you take up on these words in your imagination and you see a, oh, I see all this stuff. What's going on? Oh, see, the words became stuff. A car, house, money, clothes, or whatever. See, they was added unto you because you took a word. Let me break this down to you because I don't think you understand what I'm saying here. Let me take one of these words and be more break down to you to give you understanding. Now, bear with me. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to take winner. This word winner, that I take this word winner because God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be blessed, and don't forget that. He wants us to have, to be prepared and have opportunity to help someone else. So now, I'm going to take this word winner. Now, it's a word now. Everything starts from a word. So I'm going to take this word, I'm going to give it my consent and my permission, and I'm going to take it up here in my imagination. So in my imagination, I got the word winner. I am a winner. So therefore, I'm craving. What I'm craving? I'm craving to win the lottery. I'm craving to win whatever, whatever, whatever game out there that he's supplying to supply to. I'm craving my thoughts. A winner. Now catch what I'm saying now. This word can't do nothing but what it was designed to do. Now look at the dictionary. It will tell you what this word means. Now watch this. So I got it in my imagination. And I'm crazy. And I see myself winning. I see myself winning. Woo. And then I, 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 so, so I prove that. Now I'm speaking this word out here. When I speak this word out here, winner, now I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm in the lottery or slot machine or whatever. And that word opened up. It, and done 
what it was created and designed to do. So since I won, I'm going to use an example, I won $1,000. That word became $1,000, a winner. You know what I'm saying? And now I took that $1,000 and I took 10% out of that $1,000. I feed the children, and that's what I really do. I feed the children all over the world. So now I took 10%. What's 10% out of $1,000? $100. But see, one thing I'm standing focused with in alignment with him, because I understand something. The father is my source. He's my supplier. He's my God. He the one made heaven and earth and all these things on earth, like the slot machine, the bingo. He the one supplying everything in heaven, everything on earth, all that coming through the tunnel, through faith, through these these, these systems, you see, for our purpose. But God don't want us to get cut him off and start utilizing this as God. But see, now, this is how you bring a word, and a word become stuff. So if you want a car, remember, a word, C-A-R, is a word. You can take that word, C-A-R, Take it in your imagination, visualize on it, see it, that you got that brand new car. And people say, brand new car. See it. And when you see it up here, then you're going to see it with these natural eyes. And now, when you line it up with your mouth and speak that car, speak those things that is now God said. And now, that C-A-R is going to, car came. See it? The word car became into the natural. It's it been dressed, appeared. And see, we got words. Remember, we're dealing with words. And we also deal with numbers. They all work the same. The numbers work the same way you do words. If you want to win the lottery or whatever, and you want more money to come into your checking account, you got to put, put them numbers in, in your imagination. And see yourself, how much do you really want in your bank account? How much do you really want on your check? How much money do you want to win? Remember, you are a God. God gave that to you. He said in the beginning, let us continually to create man, woman, place, and things. Use your imagination. And you will start seeing stuff appearing to you. Do you understand? Now, now, I want to go back to this right here. Getting back to the door. Always know how to stay close to that door. And remember that door is Jesus. The name, the name. Faith. You're going through faith. Faith in the name Jesus, basically, in God eye, is the same. Because you gotta, you can't please the Father if you don't have faith. So the faith, ah, the door. You're going through faith. And when you go through faith, representing Jesus, the name, you will be in the presence of the Father. See? Have us be in the presence of the Father and no one know it because perishing of lack of knowledge. Boy, are we perishing. Every time the Father telling us over and over and over, I will never forsake you or leave you. Now let me tell you something. So start taking these words. If you start taking them and do what he's showing you, you will see these words will start appearing to you. Now, a lot of us use negative words. But why are we so naive and can't understand the positive words do the same? But we show, pick up on the negative words and stuff just happening. You know why? Because you're taking the negative words up here and you're creating them and you seeing all this stuff coming out here, but in a negative way. It is the same way, brothers and sisters, with the positive words. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. If you 
got unhappiness because you created it up here and it came out here, you can take happiness and do the same thing. And now happiness overrule unhappiness. Now out here to you and your life, he said, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and these will be added unto you. They will not be added unto you, brothers and sisters, until you take a word and do what he said. And when you take that word and do what he said, and then these things will be added unto you because it is the words that you done, you took up on, made these other things be added unto you. You can't go get these things first and you didn't got the words that you're supposed to take within. Without love, the stuff that you're going before, before love mean nothing. You got to take love in first. You got to take happy in first. And then when you do that, all these other things going to pertain to happiness is going to be added unto you. Happy people, happy places, and happy things. And the reason why those three that I just said was added unto you because you took up a hold of the word happiness. And the word happiness became what? Stuff. Understand? This not this hard. So let your spirit man and your spirit woman start practicing it every day, working with your imagination and worshiping God and talking to the Father. Tell them the Father, Father, I love you. And the Father gonna tell you, I love you, son. I love you, daughter. Father, I love you. And when you you you, you don't have to close your eyes. If you don't want to, but if you want to, you close your eyes and you meditate and you, and, you're, and you see yourself in your imagination talking to the Father. Father, I love you. Son, I, I love you. Daughter, I love you. God talks back to you. And these words here, if you practice them, take them in your imagination. Practice them, take them in your imagination. Over and over and over, you're working a muscle up here. And sooner or later, you're going to start seeing some things appearing to you. The stuff that he said will be added unto you, it's going to start appearing to you. That car going to appear to you. You know why? Because you learned how to tap into the same power that God already gave you free of years ago. Because you didn't have no knowledge. You was perished of lack of knowledge. And you become jealous of your sister, jealous of your brother. And you have the same thing your brother and sister have. All you got to do to start going in your factory. This is the best factory in history. Understand? Now, let me show you something else. We're going to go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Now, I want you to listen to this now. I'm talking to the spiritual beings. Listen, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. I can do all things through. See, remember the door. He's the door. I could do all things through. See, see, if you don't go through that door, you can't do nothing. Because when you go through that door, you're in the presence of the Father. And it's the Father that heals you. It is the Father that supply to you. You know what I'm saying? Now, listen to this part right here now. We're going to go to verse 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. When he said by Christ Jesus, remember, that's the door. When you go through that door, the Father is supplying you. It is the Father that's going to heal you. You see what I'm saying? You don't catch it, do you? Jesus Christ is a name. It's a name. That's all it is. It's a name. It is a name. The human... The word became human with just an earth suit. And that earth suit was Satan. And God himself came down on his own creation and whooped Satan and beat his angels. Whooped Satan's angels, the devils, the negative word. He whooped the nature and he whooped the human. You know what I'm saying? The human is Satan, and God came down here and showed us this is what we must to do. We must have put our gloves on. Because our spiritual man and spirit woman have an earth suit, and they walk side by side like twins, and you will see the truth under the sun and up under the light. You are a spirit. 
This is not your real self. Your human body is not your real self. It is the human and its basically true name is Satan. And that's what we got to understand to overcome this human body and overcome the nature of it represent, represent negative words. If you take this saying of Jesus, he, you will overcome this, this stuff. And that's why people are getting whooped right now because they don't have the knowledge. They are perishing of lack of knowledge. <laughs> Woo. Oh. See, I understand something. You are a God. You are a son and daughter of God, spiritual being. Pick up this bed. This represents this human body. Spiritual beings, pick up this bed. This is nothing but a, this, this human body got many names. A tree, bed, dirt, mud, <laughs> tabernacle, church. This body have many names. You got to catch it. But the name Jesus is just a name and the Father is the Father and the Holy Spirit is the Father. You see? But I'm just telling you, learn how to play with your imagination. Learn how to play with these positive words because we show learning how, we show already learned how to play with the negative words. And seeing all this stuff showing up, all this type of this negative stuff, negative everything. But just get used to it, brothers and sisters, and start playing with positive words in your imagination. We did it when, I, when I, we was a children. Look at a natural child. They play with their imagination. We, we get older. We got so numb. Oh, shoot. And that's where we messed up. Everything comes from your imagination. And everything you have right today came from your imagination. My name is Spirit Man. And I come in the name of Jesus. And I leave out of the name of Jesus. But I'm hoping you start playing with your imagination. Because all things come from your imagination. In Jesus' name, amen.